All right, welcome back. We have been following the critical renovations over at Charlotte Mecklenburg Animal Care and Control, and we are happy to share that they have finally reached the final step of this process. But before they embark on that final step, they're going to need some help from the community. And listen, this is hopefully the last time they're going to ask you to do this, but this is a good update. Here to tell us about the whole process, how you can get involved and help are Melissa Nicely and Haley Stewart. Thank you both for coming. Mm -hmm. Sweet Rocket is having a moment, but tell us about Rocket. Rocket needs a forever home, I'm sure, but at the very least a foster. Right. I'm going to let Haley talk about Rocket <laughs> because she picked him out just <laughs> moments ago. Uh, yeah, Rocket, he's a two-year-old, um, probably like bulldog, pit bull, boxer mix. Mm -hmm. um, he is super, super fun, super playful, yeah. but he has that, he definitely has that kind of bulldog attitude where he'll play hard for like three minutes and then want to sleep for three hours. <laughs> so we love that about him. Um, he's in that want to play hard mode right now. Uh -huh. So, but I feel like he's getting towards the sleeping mode. He so. is so great. He really, and he knows sit. He's good. Yes. He's like oh, a really good boy. Oh, he does know sit, yes. He's a real good boy. Okay, so we said this is sort of the final stage, Melissa, of these renovations. Get us caught up. Where have we been? Where are we now? Sure. So, in we're specifically <laughs> talking about the dog kennels. Mm -hmm. um, we had uh, steps one through five as we've been moving through. We just finished up all of the lost dog kennels. So, that was in two stages. So, that was 36 kennels and then 46 kennels. All of those kennels are back in operation. Ooh. Yes, and they're beautiful. Good. Yes, they're beautiful kennels. And so now the next step is we're in what are going to be our puppy adoption kennels. There's only 19 of those. Okay. We're in that phase right now. Coming up is, so that's phase four. Coming up is phase five. Yep. That's going to be the dog adoption kennels, and there's 47 of those. Ooh. So we're looking at the... The process to have those empty is going to be April the 12th. Okay. So everybody put that on their calendars at 7 p.m. on April the 12th. We're going to have to have all of the dog adoption kennels emptied so that they can undergo the renovation process, which is probably going to roughly take about three weeks or so. Okay. So we're looking at this whole project being done and all of our kennels being back in operational service at the end of the month, which is great news. It's huge news. Once that happens at the end of the month, how many total spaces will you have for, for animals ballpark it? Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> 40, What's 80, <laughs> probably close to 175 And or, that will make a huge difference so. for you. Uh, and, and that's just dogs. That's yep. not the cats. Yep. Um, huge difference having all those spaces back and operable. And then we're also still going to be using our satellite location, which is the oldest Humane Society of Charlotte over on Toomey. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be then our overflow, which is going to mean that we've got all of our capacity back, plus we've still got Toomey. Ooh. So we're going to be at the most capacity. So. Wow. Well, and but to clear out those kennels is a, is a massive task. It is. So you're asking people to do what? So we're asking you if um, you're ready to adopt. We yep. want to make sure that you're ready to adopt. Yep. There's no better time than now to come and check out the dogs mm -hmm. and see if there's one that is going to fit your needs. Mm -hmm. um, you can take them on a staycation to try them out. Um, but the biggest goal I think is going to help us um, clear out the kennels quickest is finding people who have it in their home and in their heart and can foster for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. We're not talking months. We're just talking from getting them out by the 12th and then possibly another couple of weeks, so maybe going into the first week of May. Okay. So if you have a couple of weeks and you can have another um, another pup in the home, that would be fantastic. It's going to clear out the kennels and um, make it a lot more. <laughs> there's, there's, she's I'm okay. Gonna take, do you want to just let him run? You can just let him run. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Let okay, go run. rock it. Go ahead, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh! And he's gone. So Goodbye, Rocket. <laughs> They're going to be doing some really fun things <laughs> to encourage folks. <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> I wish you guys could see him. <laughs> to encourage folks to foster and adopt and do staycations. So go make sure you're following CMPD Animal Care and Control on all of their social media pages so that you can see all of the cool, fun things that they are doing to make sure that as many of these dogs can get into homes so that <laughs> we've lost the dog. <laughs> it's behind the set. <laughs> Where the dog is behind the set um, so that we can make sure we get as many of these dogs into homes either for long term or short term as we can thank you ladies for coming will you go get i will find <laughs> thank you for having us absolutely <laughs>